Get the strobe lights going. Get the strobe lights going, baby. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Above Average. If you're new to the channel, thanks for clicking on this video. We got a good one for you today. We're talking about the Buffalo freaking Sabres and uh, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on, on this. This is a ser very serious take. I honestly think that the, the Buffalo Sabres could be NHL's next like big dynasty. I'm not even joking. This is, I can't tell you how much as a hockey fan, this excites me. Like just looking at their roster and um, you know, some of the prospects that they have coming, coming to like on the team in the next like three to four well no not even like two three years like before these players start making you know they're going to be on the team and they're going to like where what i mean is they're going to be making a difference on the team right they're going to be game changers these guys will be insane and it just it, it's just it's crazy so if you're a buffalo sabers fan you should be just just through the roof with excitement and uh yeah this is this is insane so what uh, what are you talking about trevor it's the buffalo sabers they've been they've been bad forever well yeah, they, they might have, and it honestly, it might be paying off now. It might be finally paying off. This is what I mean. I'm going to list off some of these players and just give you my opinions. And just, this is like way more than enough than what you need for a rebuild. If these players reach their potential, it's, it's a game. Like this is insane. It's actually, it's so crazy. Okay. First off, you got Owen Power, who's just unbelievable player, right? Did we not forget this guy is a first overall pick? Okay. And there's the one thing you're going to find in common with a lot of these players. Okay. Owen Power. First overall pick, just the maybe a little bit lesser, but uh, full ceiling. Like when I watched this guy in junior, he was insane. The world juniors, uh, the one, I think he played one game. He got a hat trick. It was just crazy. This guy's going to be an unbelievable, like unbelievable talent. He's Canada's next uh, Chris Pronger. You know, he's not going to be that tough, but big guy, solid shot, really good defensively. He's, he's honestly, that's who I thought when I, that's what I thought when I saw him and who knows, man, maybe he does get like a little bit. He's kind of, I didn't think he was that much of a, a fighter and junior, but uh, I think he doesn't like, I don't think he's the nicest guy. Like, I think he's, he's going to hit some guys. He's going to lay them out, right? He's a defenseman, Canadian boy. That's what they do. So uh, yeah, he's, he's going to lay the body. Once he grows into his body more, like he's going to be, he's going to be pretty solid. He's already got a really big frame. So Owen Power, um, you know, this was his first full year, right? Uh, was it the best year? No. Was it the worst year? No. Like there was definitely, you could see why he was drafted first overall at certain points and uh, near the end of the season, like most players do, they get a lot more comfortable. It's exactly what we saw with Owen Power. Absolute stud. Uh, yeah, just a beauty. Okay. So that's one, that's one first overall pick defenseman that shoots left and there's another He's a, he's a Swede and his name's Rasmus Dahlin. This guy, I remember very well when, um, you know, he was touted as one of the next best uh, defensemen in the NHL. Of course, he happens to be Swede. Swedes, they know how to do it. They know, you know, Eric Carlson, Victor Hedman, and now Rasmus Dahlin. This guy is an unbelievable stud. He could have very well won the Norse this last year. He was a finalist, but Rasmus Dahlin, his defensive numbers, they've, they've definitely improved. He's known for his great, you know, skating ability, and he's got a wicked freaking shot too. And we were able to see that a lot this year. It was sick. You got Rasmus Dahlin, um, just the next coming. You got two of those guys. Okay, say both of them, like having two first overall pick defensemen, uh, that's like on your team, that never happens. You never, you never get one of them. And you, to have two, that's just crazy. So if they can both, like you build your blue line around that, yeah, that's sign me up all day. If the Oilers had that, I'd be the happiest guy in the world, right? So that's insane. But you think I'm done there? Not even close. Devin Levi, he had crazy numbers in all three years at Northeastern University. He's easily Canada's best goaltending prospect. He crushed it at World Juniors, setting multiple records. He started a little bit like the later half or the latter half of uh, last season. Is that a saying, latter half? Well, what I meant by that is like just he played a few games uh, near the end of the season last year for Buffalo. And what did he do? He crushed it. He looked so good. I remember he was a he was a highlight one night. He just made this miraculous glove save. So sick. So what else can you do? You you build a you build a dynasty. That's what I'm talking about in this video, okay? You have a bona fide, you know, defender, which they already have in one. They could, they could very well have in another, boom. So not only do you have one, you have two. Most championships just need one. Kill Makar, you look, uh, you know, you could either say Shea Theodore or Alex Petrangelo, but they're no Rasmus Dalian, right? Like Rasmus Dalian's way better than both of those two, those two. And then you also got Owen Power. So every, every dynasty, what they need is, uh, I should probably said this at the beginning of the video. You need a uh, unbelievable, like, forward, you know, as uh, you know, a superstar up front, a superstar defenseman, and you know, just an unbelievable goalie. And uh, I've already said that uh, Buffalo, they have two of those in their defense. They've already got, you know, Devin Levi, who's 
just, I mean, he's exactly what you want. A young uh, goaltending prospect who's put up unbelievable numbers and uh, he's, he's set to be your, your, he's set to be your starter for like the next eight years if you do this right. If you do this right, Buffalo, it could be eight years, okay? Right, so um, like I said, I could go on and on, but you know, what else do you get, okay? You need, you need character guys, you need role guys, you need guys that can chip in every now and then, and that's exactly what Dylan Cousins, the, the workhorse from Whitehorse, that's what we call him in here in Canada. Unbelievable skater who's really starting to show why he was a top prospect. Another, another top prospect. This guy was drafted top 10. Was it not like six? I should have researched that. Damn it. I thought I remembered it. What is he drafted? Seventh. God damn it. That's a happy Gilmore. God damn it right there. Anyway, okay. Dylan Cousins, drafted seventh overall, uh, just uh, unbelievable skater. Played in the Lethbridge Hurricanes. You know, uh, you know who, where I lived growing up? I lived in Lethbridge. I watched the Hurricanes all the time. I seen this guy firsthand. Unbelievable guy, super sweet. Yeah, I walked him going to the IHOP once. Real nice guy, from what I've heard and from what I've seen, all ten times, right? Um, but yeah, no. All jokes aside, he, he was he was a real treat to watch. It, it definitely, his skating was his uh, you know his bread and butter. He could skate like the wind uh, when he when he really gets going. And um, let's not forget this guy just crushed it for Team Canada in the World Juniors. Uh, the same year that Devin Levi was putting up those uh, you know records, Dylan Cousin was making a few records of his his own. Right, he's an absolute stud. Great, you know, right shot. I mean, it flies like the wind. What more could you want? That is such an encouraging thing. Every team in the NHL would want a player like Dylan Cousins, okay? So that's, what is that? That's four reasons? That's four reasons, okay? Like that in and of itself is enough to, you know, make a pretty good contender in a few years. Not even joking, but we're not even halfway done, okay? So uh, what else? What else do you got? You got Jack Quinn, eighth overall, AHL's rookie of the year. He had 52 goals in 62 games played in his last year in the OHL. But anyway, yeah, Jack Quinn, uh, this guy I really wanted. Uh, I remember the Oilers drafted Dylan Holloway. He, you know, Jack Quinn didn't quite fall. Um, and I was like, shucks, like that's who I had on my list. I, I had Jack Quinn on my list. If the, if the Oilers could have picked anyone, I, I thought it would have been Jack Quinn, man. I thought, oh, just unbelievable stud. Another right hand shot. This guy's got a lethal shot, right? Like that's his bread and butter. Um, all things you want. And another, like another really good, just top six guy who's going to co contribute offensively on any given night. Really? Like that's the potential with this guy. Like he's, he's a stud, right? So uh, Sabres fans, you, you got that to look forward to as well. Just an unbelievable player. And another Canadian boy. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, the one thing when I was doing some research about this, it's actually kind of crazy. These last four players that I said, uh, Devin Levi, Dylan Cousins, Jack Quinn, and Peyton Krebs, they all played for the, the World Junior team that uh, they, they actually lost that year. But it was a record-setting year. There's never been that many first overall, or there's never been that many first round picks on a Team Canada team. And uh, they ended up losing to the, the Yankees, which sucked in the finals. Oh, that was a piss off. But anyway, uh, Peyton Krebs was also on that team and he crushed it, right? They got Peyton Krebs from the, the Jack Eichel trade. Uh, they didn't just get Peyton uh, Krebs. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. But uh, yeah, just another, you know, I don't think his ceiling is quite high as Jack Quinn and uh, Dylan Cousins. But I mean, he's still a promising prospect. He's probably going to get you 50, 60 points. And who knows? The ceiling is a little bit higher than that, maybe even. You think we're done there? No, no, we're not. Uh, this next player is, in my opinion, one of, if not the most underrated player in the entire NHL, Alex freaking Tuck. Um, this guy's an absolute stud. Uh, he's a big body. That's exactly what you want. Uh, he's a right shot. They got a lot of right shots, which is kind of cool. I think they're always more fun to play on NHL. Just so uh, I, I, I take that into consideration. Um, yeah, yeah, heavy shot too. He's not just a right shot. His shot is, is lethal. He's got some silky hands. Uh, watch this goal. He got this last year against the Calgary Flames, and I love it. Um, <laughs> I love every second of it. Alex Tuck, absolute beauty. Um, this guy is a stud, and uh, the potential, I, I still don't think we've he's, he's eclipsed. Like, I, I still think there's more to give, which is kind of crazy, because he just had a monster year this last season, and uh, I think he's going to be putting up monster years for a few years to come. And just another, just a great playoff, uh, good rule guy. This guy's going to, he's going to lead by example, a little bit older. You want that for the younger guys. And yeah, so Alex Tuck, huge stud. I'm a huge fan of Alex Tuck. Okay, but if you've made it this far, oh shit. And I forgot about this guy. Oh, 
I totally skipped this guy. They just drafted him this year. Zach Benson, very shifty player who's going to be a legit stud, 100%. Oh, one thing these all these players have in common they're studs they're absolute studs zach benson's coming off a monster year this year you know he was drafted 13th overall by of course the buffalo sabers uh and you know but he fell he was a top five top like four prospect all year his size is a little undersized but we we figure that really don't, doesn't matter nearly as much as it used to so that's the only reason why he fell but i was just watching this video the other day he was he made an unbelievable play at the uh, development camp that uh, buffalo had and it was it was sick just a sweet dish and then it ended up being a goal this guy's coming off a monster year 60 games played he was able to put up 36 goals 62 assists good enough for 98 points super insane yeah this guy I, he's gonna fit in so well with buffalo and uh, i can't wait to see what he's able to put up again another canadian player that's what you like to see okay so this Buffalo team, the reason that's like their core is a lot of Canadians and I love it. I love it. Obviously you got a Swede and two Americans. I've mentioned one American, but I'm going to, I'm going to mention it's time to, so I said at the beginning of this video, you need one amazing goaltender. You need a, just a bonafide defenseman, which they, they have two of probably one day and they already got a star studded goalie who's going to be just amazing for them. But you need, you need a great guy up front. You need a guy that leads by example. You need a guy that can do it all. And, uh, that's exactly what they have in Tage Thompson. Um, might be a bold take, but he might be the most skilled American player right now. And that might trigger a lot of Stars fans, obviously. You got Jason Robertson, you got Jack Hughes in New Jersey, and you got uh, Austin Matthews in, in Toronto. But I'm not gonna lie, man. This guy is just came out of nowhere good. Like he is, he's insane. I, I love, Tate Thompson might be my favorite player in the NHL right now. What he was able to do, man, and like, he's uh, he's really, he's like, he, he could be in hard conversations, I'm not even joking. And he already was this year. Like he's the, when he just, he can like turn it on like that, man. He's got so many tools in this toolbox. It's like, I don't know which one to grab here. <laughs> it's, it's super cool, so nothing but amazing things to say about this guy uh lethal shot you know he's a bigger body just great hands his skating is super shifty everything you want you can make you can make some amazing passes as well yeah so man th this ended up being a longer video than i thought but yeah uh, i don't ramble on much and i, I rambled on for 15 minutes about like just uh, this, is, this is the proof uh, the the proof's right here okay i'm, I'm telling you the proof the Buffalo Sabres are going to be the NHL's, if they play their cards right, uh, the Buffalo Sabres for sure could be the next NHL's next dynasty. Not even, it's not even, and I, I'm just, I'm so happy because it's been, it's been a long time. Buffalo fans have, you know, they've been, they've been, you know, unhappy for so long. So much has gone wrong, you know, with Jack Eichel. Finally, we're good. And then obviously, you know, that didn't pan out how they wanted to. But my grandma always said this, uh, all good things come to those who wait. And my jolly have <laughs> the Buffalo Savers sure waited. I know what it's like to be at the bottom of the basement. Obviously, I'm an Oilers fan. It had happened for almost 10 years. It sucked. It was it made me like, why am I even watching sports? I'm not even joking. It was it was like that. It was dark. There's some dark thoughts that come in your head when your team sucks for 10 years. Oh gosh, yeah, man. I. I've been through it. Not quite 10 years. Obviously, Buffalo's uh, setting an NHL record you know, with this <laughs> uh, long time. It's been like, what, like 14 years since they made the playoffs? So super not fun. But Buffalo Sabres fans, uh, hopefully the, a few of you were able to watch this video, learn something. And just for here from, you know, a diehard hockey fan up, uh, up in North uh, Canada, your friendly neighbors up North. Yeah, uh, I'm just, I cannot wait. Like I, uh, yeah, as a hockey fan, I'm gonna be watching your team so close next year. I cannot wait to see what uh, what they're able to do with all the players, just I'm super intrigued. Um, it's gonna be fun to watch. So that's all I got for this one, guys. If you're new to the channel, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we upload videos weekly and uh, we're on the road to 3K subs. So if you can help your boy out, That'd be dope. Okay, that's all I got for this one, guys. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, do whatever you want to do. But definitely, don't be average when you can be above average. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.